Hi guys, it's Sylvana. I'm back with an everyday makeup routine. I'm sorry I've been gone so long, but I just felt kind of insecure since I didn't have any of the right equipment for YouTube. I only have my phone and I don't know how to edit, but we all gotta start somewhere and I really wanna try with this, so. I'm back, I hope you enjoy it. This is the look. I've been thinking about filming an everyday makeup routine since I even thought about starting YouTube but I realize I work in the morning and I only ever do my makeup in the morning right after I shower. My hair's kind of dry now, so it doesn't look... It looks pretty bad, let's be real. <laughs> to start off with looking semi-decent, I use the Benefit Professional. It takes me forever to go through this because I don't use very much of it, so I just buy mini sizes. I only put it like on the sides of my nose, the pores right there, there are mixed in between my eyebrows and in my little eye creases. The next step is I do my eyebrows. I just brush them out with a Morphe brush. It's all scratched off, so I have no idea what it is. It's pretty good though. I use my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. I was working the other day and a guy told me that my eyebrows were very good. I feel like that's the best compliment. I start off with outlining just like the second half of my eyebrows. I look kind of crazy, but it's fine. I am a little crazy. <laughs> I am then going to dip back in, fill in the outer edge. And with what's left on the brush, I just fill in the rest. So I start with outlining the bottom of my eyebrow. Outlining the top. And we're just coloring it in, starting from the outside, so that the inside looks lighter. And boom, there we have it. It still kind of looks like shit, but it's fine. Comment down below which eyebrow is your better eyebrow, because my left eyebrow always looks a billion times better, and you won't really be able to tell until I conceal. Speaking of that, the next step is I use a Tarte Shape Tape in light medium. It's way too light for me right now. I'm just going to take this and outline my eyebrows. And boom, it looks a million times better. I don't know how I ever survived with doing my eyebrows without concealing around them because they look so much better. Let's put it on a few spots. I'm going a little bit overboard. I feel like sometimes I look like angry when I don't put a little bit of concealer there. I put it just on the inner corner of my eye, my nose, around my mouth. Put a little bit of darkness right there. I look ridiculous. Oh my god. I'm just gonna take the Real Technique sponge before filming this video. I like heavily debated on not cleaning it, but I clean it for you guys, so you should feel special basically. I'm just gonna blend that out. I have a date tonight, I think. So, wish me luck. Work called me in a bit later, so if this guy doesn't want to go to dinner, it's kind of late, then I can blame work on my failed love life. <laughs> I like the Beauty Blender a lot better than the Real Techniques sponge. It doesn't blend quite as well, but I'm also broke, so Real Techniques it is. I take my inner eye concealer just right here to brighten because I don't do big triangles underneath my eye. The look that I'm going for, that looks ridiculous, but I still want this part to be a little brightened. Same with around my mouth. I dragged it just underneath and above. I do my under eyes last because I try to do them as close to powder as possible so that they have less of a chance of creasing. Little dab. I don't go too crazy. First of all, this concealer is really high coverage, and second of all, I'm trying to go for the natural look. I already said that. I have really bad under eye bags, and I feel like putting on concealer just like this sometimes make them look even worse than they did before. I've been covering them up since I was like 12. So what I've learned is you just gotta put a little more just right where these shadows are. You'll look a billion times less tired. I guess if you don't have shadows and you just use concealer to brighten up your under eyes, that doesn't help, but if you guys look chronically tired like I do, I'm never really like exhausted. I just have hereditary under eye bags. So that's how you cover it. It makes a huge difference. I look crazy. I hate how like everything looks until you put on eye makeup. My body is really dark compared to my face. So I would usually just go in with powder. But since my concealer is too light for me, I'm just gonna put on tinted moisturizer over that and make it darker. All over my face. 
eyes, including my under eyes. I'm not really a big fan of the super bright under eye look. I just want to look not tired. I forgot to tell you my shade. It is sand. On my face, natural glowy makeup looks so much better and when I try to cover everything up, I just look insane. I go in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder, as if people don't know what this is. I put it all over my face, very lightly, just so my face doesn't feel wet from the tinted moisturizer. But I still want glow to shine through. The trick is to have good skincare underneath it all, and you will glow whether or not you have makeup on. Now that my face is set, I just take my Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in Medium Brown, and I just like to go over everything. So next step, I go in with the Kat Von D Jade and Light Palette, mine's disgusting. Just grab the lightest contouring shade with a flat shader, and I just contour my nose. So how I contour my nose is I start just by defining the bridge. I go up to the end of my eyebrow and down, and my nose is kind of bulbous, and to kind of cancel that out, it starts like rounding out here. I just bring it down straight anyway. I don't know if you can tell, but my nose already looks thinner and I just put it underneath. I lift it a little, but my nose is very lifted already. So I just connect those lines, like where I shaded in here and the lines I put there. Even though my nose starts rounding out there, I like to put a line a little bit lower to give me a button nose effect, but without it looking like super round. And I just take another shader that's slightly fluffier and just blend that shit out because nobody likes a harsh nose contour. And then I put a little bit just connecting that line and then around my nostrils just to make my nose look a little bit. I'm gonna say smaller, but my nose is pretty small, like thinner. When I went on vacation, I already had cheek freckles, but I got nose freckles, so when I started coming back and doing my makeup, I drew my nose freckles back on, and they faded, but they're so cute, so I'm just gonna keep drawing nose freckles on, even though I don't have them underneath my makeup anymore. Take a tiny little brush in the darkest shade in the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I kind of just put it on where my skin is slightly uneven. I just connect them to my cheek freckles. And then I also dot in like the first few cheek freckles right there, just so it has a good gradient, I guess. Not really a gradient, but I think you know what I mean. It's really dark and it looks ridiculous. I feel like I've said ridiculous a billion times, but I truly think I look ridiculous until everything is put on. I am going to skip blending that until I'm done the rest of my cheek products. I take the Benefit Hula Bronzer, which is broken. I need the full size. I don't really contour, I just bronze. I just bring it under my cheekbones and on the side of my face. The very sides of my face here is really important to me because my face is really wide and I always seem to be really pale here. Maybe because I'm always covering the sides of my face with my hair. It's just become a habit because I didn't really like how wide my face was in the past, but. No, I don't really care. And I just put it underneath my chin and jaw and on my chin and jaw. On my forehead, just to balance it out. I really like my forehead, so I'm not actually trying to make it look smaller. I just want to look tan. I just use like a random blush. I don't know where it's from. The basic pink color. Everything is broken, I'm sorry. And then I just take it here. Just like above my bronzer. What I'm trying to do is replicate a truly sun-kissed look. And when I got tan, I was a little bit rosy on my forehead, so I'm gonna put that right under my bronzer, on my chin, and right across the nose, which is why I don't want to blend out my freckles just yet, because I am putting product over it. So I don't want to blend them out too much and then have to draw them back on. Champagne pop, but I don't use it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't use it the way most people use it to be blinding. I just use it to complement that glow. I just dab it a little bit. 
blend it out super well. I'm gonna close my eyebrows. I use so little product that I dip it in once and then disperse it down my face and on my chin. A little Eco Tools brush and put it across my upper lip. Doing the corners of my eyes. Onto my nose. On the tip where I didn't contour. And then on the bridge. And now that I'm done putting any extra product on my nose, I'm going to blend out my freckles with my bronzer brush. If there's anything left on the brush, I'm okay with. I don't think there is, but when I get a real tan, I get bronzed right where these freckles are. So it looks really realistic if I blend it out with this brush. Ooh, you can see it there. I think that looks super natural. I really like the look. To melt all the powders I just put on my face and try to look natural again, I just take the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I feel like the amount of minis I have is showing you how broke I really am. Sometimes when I'm fanning my setting spray dry, I hit myself in the face. I don't really like this mascara. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I don't know, it kind of burns my eyes and it smudges and it doesn't really last. So why am I still using it? Because I have it and I'm gonna wait until it's done to buy another one. I just hate waste and I used to have a ridiculous amount of makeup and I barely finished anything and I think that's so wasteful. So nowadays I only keep what I use and I only buy what I'm actually gonna use. I don't do too much with my lashes, I just darken them so that they don't look gray after all that makeup. And then I put a lot on my bottom lashes. Bottom lashes make such a big difference. It just makes my eyes look so much more wide. And my top lashes are pretty good too, but like when I try, it can make them look really long. But they're so straight that I have to curl them so that you can see them, and then the curl falls in two seconds. So that's why I just take a super natural pair of lashes my favorite are the Ardell Wispies. They kind of fall apart really soon because they're cheap, but there is no other pair of lashes that does what this pair does for my eyes, so I just keep buying multi-packs. And it's probably more expensive in the long run because they don't really last. Just stick them super close to my lash line. I don't know how I got so good at lashes, but people think they're eyelash extensions. So the reason why I prefer the Kiss Glue over the Duo Glue so much is because the duo glue I feel like is so thick and latexy that it doesn't actually stick like it does but then it starts lifting off and then it's so thick that you'll see the white with this glue it's thin it's latex free you use the thinnest layer on the band and it will stay the corners will stay down I feel like I'm making it sound so insane that it would hurt to take off it doesn't hurt to take off it's just some next level shit. And there are the lashes. While I'm waiting for the eyelash glue to dry, I'm going to do my lips. Just choose a lip liner that's the closest to my lip shade. And my favorite is the MAC Dervish. I love MAC lip liners. I feel like because the insides of my lips are so much brighter than the outsides, if I don't outline my lips, they look so much smaller than they actually are. Just fill them in, not too intensely, just like and now so that I can blend it out. And then I take the MAC Clear Lip Gloss and I just dab that over. So once I've let the eyelash glue dry to make the eyelashes even more blended with my lashes and like their lash extensions more than glue on lashes, I just take an eyelash curler and I just put it around the lashes. I don't go all the way to the base like just very lightly squeeze my lashes together like the fake lashes to my real lashes so this is my final look i just think it looks super glowy bronzed natural like my skin is just naturally perfect my lips are just juicy the brows i feel like are the only unnatural part but i gotta always have them on fleek Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> so apparently I genuinely don't know what I'm doing with YouTube because I forgot to tell you to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this. I hope you stick around. 
I hope I post more if you stick around. Um, I love you guys so much. Follow me on Instagram. Do that. Definitely do that. <laughs> okay, this is it. This is it. Bye. I'm the worst at goodbyes. Um, I just gotta say I love you one more time.